Hi friends, in this IBM BPM tutorial, we will learn about offline deployment in IBM BPM. In the last tutorial, we discussed about what is the online deployment. So in this tutorial, we will see how an offline deployment differs from online deployment. So as we know, in online deployment, your process server will be directly connected to the process center and from process center you can deploy the snapshots directly to the uh, development, acceptance, test or production uh, process server. But in other way the offline deployment is a traditional approach. So if you see in the traditional approach when we uh, deploy a binary file into the server the first thing what we do we create a installation file uh, sorry we create a deployable binary file we can say such type of files as a jar file or ear file and then that ear file we deploy into the server using some build script okay so offline deployment is similar to that approach what we first we will try to extract a deployable file from the process center and once that file will be extracted then manually we will deploy that file to the next level of environment okay for deploying in the next level of environment you can also use the build script for the automation okay so the steps which are involved in offline deployment create an offline server the first step using the process center server console okay second step is deploy a snapshot into the offline process server okay create the installation package so once you deploy the snapshot automatically the snap installation package will be created then extract that is installation package from offline process center and then finally install the installation package in the designated process server it could be any other environment okay so let's first create an offline process server so you can for creating the server you need to go to server tab create a offline server and let's say give some server name as a acceptance server okay so we don't have acceptance here so you can create a staging server okay and create so it will be a dummy offline server and now you can go to your uh, process app so suppose for me the process app is blue shield health app open in designer okay and now click on the snapshot first click a snapshot over here so this is the app which i am going to deploy in my offline server so i am just writing over here a stage underscore data integrity okay click on ok so your snapshot is created over here and then go to process center go to your app and here you can see stage underscore data integrity click over here the install button in the install button select your server so i selected the stage offline server and create installation package so automatically this uh, deployable snapshot will be installed in the server okay so with that my first and second and third points are done now the next step will be to extract the installation package from offline process server okay and once it is extracted then you can also install the extracted package into different environment okay so once it is installed okay you will get one option over here export installation package so you can click over here you can save and this is the basically the deployable zip file okay fine now there there are some commands also to extract this this file okay so let me show you the command for this okay so these are the steps which are involved okay so we created a, a demo ser server these are the steps enlisted for uh, deploying your snapshot into the process server which we just did okay fine now 
the next step is to extract the deployable fi binary file from the process center using the command line okay so for that what you need to do first you need to go you need to go to your process center process center installable directory and basically you have to run ws admin tool okay so all the administrator who are uh, working in the web server application server then must be knowing how to how to start the ws admin port okay so in the ws admin port okay you can just directly write ws admin port ws admin dot bat hyphen lang jethan so it's a jethan command and then you have to provide your id user id and password okay and then soap connector address port okay so with that it will connect to ws admin admin and in the ws admin you have to uh, if you want to uh, see what all the process applications are deployed you can use this command okay if you don't want this command is not required okay for extracting the package you have to use this command admin task and this remember this command need to be executed from the ws admin okay so admin task dot bpm extract offline package okay then you are giving the acronym of your process okay which you want to extract and then you have to give the file path where you after extraction where you want to save okay so finally if this command successfully executed then you will get one uh, message at the last bpm extract offline package command pass so what it will do now basically you are getting a in other words you are getting an er file okay so now you got your deployable binary file the next step will be install that deployable binary to the next environment okay for that you have to use a command the command is you can see over here admin task dot bpm install offline package okay so this command you have to use and then hyphen input file in the input file you have to give the path where you have saved this deployable binary file that's it once it is done your uh, application will be installed to that environment okay so if you want to verify whether my application is installed to that environment or not what you can do you can log into the process portal you can see also in process portal or you can see in process admin and in the process admin you can see okay so i will explain you over here where to see whether your application is successfully deployed or not localhost 9080 and process admin okay so here you can see installed apps so since i have not installed any app over here so i cannot see once the app is successfully installed okay sorry it's all active apps are here if you click, click on the all here you will see all the apps which are installed in that environment okay so the offline deployment process is very very simple it's involved only these four steps which I, which i have explained first create an offline server install the snapshot into the offline server then extract the deployable binary file and using the command uh, install your de uh, deployable binary file to the next environment okay you have to remember these commands if you want to go if you want to do from command line one one command is how to go to ws admin how to start a ws admin second command to check how to extract offline package and the third command okay how to install the bpm package these commands you can also get from ibm bpm knowledge center thank you